All right, I'm going to get, um, I'm gonna go pee and make sure that my water and drink situation is fulfilled, and then I'll be right back. You do that, token <laughs> toaster, toaster. I'm a big sandwich. I should eat food again. All right, I am prepared. I got my cinnamon whiskey, I got my water. start the pre-show, which is basically just going to be me being silent and muting you guys and having the screen up. Um, wave at me on the camera when we're ready. No, no not right now. Oh. I just turned wave at the camera if you're ready.
Well. Wow. I'm getting the thumbs up, so it's about time that we start. And boom. So For those of you who don't know, uh, Dico won't be joining us, and the wolf is very sick. He has proclaimed himself the mucus king. I have not proclaimed. I am him. Right. He is the mucus king. Were we not set to go? I thought I got the thumbs up. I waved. Yeah. One. All right. More chip tunes it is then. Yeah. There's some even here, man. You would see him, I don't see him. What about me? I was thumbs up, so I thought <sighs> that was the sign. Alright, sorry about that. No problem. It's right there, man. It's right there. Okay. Now I can stop my thematically appropriate chip tunes. Uh. 
We're live, by the way, because I thought we were going. Okay. So, you know, uh, if you're not 100% ready, that's cool. Just let me know. What we were... What music we were going. Well, I was just putting on chiptunes to fill the silence, but... Well... That's not what I mean. Yeah, man, that's so what I mean. Shut up, Mika's King. Alright. There we go. So, last time on Throne Chat, the party had come together to uh, explore this crazy castle thingy. And. They had traveled down two stairs and fought some zombies and then killed a zombie beholder. And now they're in a room. There is a trap door under, or whatever those kinds of doors. They're called trap doors, but they have a different kind of thing that's not a trap. A patch. There's a hatch underneath the now re-dead beholder. And there's also a, uh... They prefer the term no longer reanimated. There is also a... Drawbridge to the party's, uh, east. So what are you guys doing? People want to take a rest. Mm -hmm. That was a thing that we had said. I think Mr. Denoct would want to know, can he preserve the head of the undead beholder? It is just the head. Yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's all head. <laughs> it's nothing but it's head. It's very cumbersome no. to uh, carry around. So you want to say no? No, I, I veto this. He's going to take a stock. Yeah, he, he would at least take an eye. Isn't stop. it already, like, rotted because it's undead? Yes. Yeah, he doesn't want any of that shit. Right, he wants well-preserved heads. I mean, alright, I guess roll to see if he can take the big... The big eye's still there? Uh, yeah. It's partially rotted, though. Uh, it's... Partially rotted is Die. partially good. No, no, fuck it. So what are you guys doing? Let's rest. Alright. Let us rest. Is Riza going to be in the other room while said resting is happening? Are you guys just going to rest like this? I figured we'd probably go in, like, the hallway there or something. Or something. Well, wherever you're resting, be there and say, okay, we're going to rest here. Uh, I want to cuddle Gimbal. I'm going right here. All okay. Right, I'll chill here. So, something I forgot about. Um, That's but stupid. we'll continue on. We'll pretend like it happened. Uh, when Gimbal Timbers used Blink, when he was supposed to come back at the end of the combat, didn't. And then he came running down the stairs again. He said, Boy, howdy, I went back to the entrance. Gold Gimbal. Um, how long how did he get through the hatch? Didn't something close behind us? Yeah, that door. The door. Well, I guess it's probably just. New question: How long does that effect last? Where things I touch mm, engulf in flame? <laughs> that reminds me. Huh? <laughs> um. Do you remember what you rolled? Nope. It's in the history. Yes, it is. Um, just a while ago. 
Uh, All right. A 57. First takes perhaps? three necrotic damage upon entering the area again. Good. In the temples. Uh, was it perhaps a 57 ship? It was a 70 something, wasn't it? Maybe. 74? You're a 74. No, I'm not. Yeah, no, he's not. It's only 39. No, I'm not. Only 37. No. Uh, 42. I'm going to guess 42. <laughs> I think it was guessing. I don't know what we're guessing, but I'm going with 42. What was the What was the roll? Uh, it might have been a 57. For the next minute. Fun times. Okay. Well, you All just right. stand over there by yourself. Right? right. I'm just gonna stand for a minute. I'm just gonna stand where there aren't <laughs> flammable objects until I stop feeling like I might light things on fire. And then once I'm done doing that, I I take a long rest. In the middle of the doorway? No. Where there's stone. Okay. You stand around for an hour and you feel the magical effect fade away. An hour? Or minute, minute, whatever it is. Alright. It's me. Great googly moogly. Getting back my shit. Getting back my shit. Getting back my shit. Hey, yep. ho, hey, and ho. Getting back my shit. Hey. Uh, Alright. So, what are you guys doing? A long rest? Yes, I believe That's that was the consensus. Okay, so before you guys heal or put back your spell slots, roll me 4d... No, I'm sorry, 8. 8d12. Eight Forgot about that shit. 8d12. And then tell me who's on which watch. The witches. I'll take first watch, Mr. Doc will take second. Yes. Okay. As is tradition. So, halfway into Mr. Dinoc's watch, we'll say he was over here, and I assume he would extinguish his Magical doodad. Yes. <clears throat> the beautiful thing happened, why not? Oh, I... We got a forty three. Um, <clears throat> okay, King has spoken. <coughs> ah. It's not funny. It's kind of funny. No, it's not funny. <laughs> it sounds awful. Great star CR5. Okay. So, Astro says hi, by the way. Yay, Astro. Hi, Astro. I like that guy. Yeah, he's still in the place he's in. 
Yep. He's in the desert. So you all hear, well, really, I guess, give me perception checks to see if you hear him while he's yelling in the middle of the night. Nope. Uh, no face wakes up. Oh. Rio doesn't wake up. Kia doesn't wake up. This should be good. Ferris doesn't wake up. Good. I hate waking up in the middle of slumber. Wake me up. Wake me up. If you're gonna kill me, just wake fucking wake do up. it while I'm sleeping. So I don't know. Uh, Asher says drink a boostrosity. Uh, Already doing it. Gimbal Timbers wake up. Sure. I'll say sure. What are we waking up to? Uh, <clears throat> the sound of terrible... Oh, Jesus. The sound of Mr. Dinark shouting, Ghosts! Go. I really Oops. wanted my spell slots back. <laughs> Did we get any kind of rest at all? No. We get no kind of rest. Do I get? Was it? How long was it in? Uh, it was past the four hour mark, but you still don't get anything. Oh right, because I have to actually relax for eight hours. Wait, right. that I should be awake. Oh, yes. No, no, no. You, you had first watch, which is four hours. So you would be meditating at this point. Oh, right. I just started meditating. He had first watch. Mm hmm. Yep. <clears throat> no, wait. He had first watch. You said. So I should be awake. You said you had first watch. No. Oh. It's true. I, don't remember. I believe. Okay. Go. Uh, otherwise, the would be asleep. So right. do we still do we still roll initiative? No. Yeah. Totally what do the up. sleeping people do? Do we roll initiative? <laughs> so. Or do we just shit our round, pants in our sleep? You will roll initiative, or at the beginning of the round, you will. Try to, you know what? Just roll initiative, and on your uh, turn, you can try to wake up again. Wake me up gotcha. before you go go eating caviar okay. on a yo yo. That's my third initiative roll above a ten in my life. Nice. <laughs> in Good this job. character's life, anyway. Go. No, I usually roll like a four. initiative there. Wait, did I just roll for Rio? Oh. I did. What did Rio roll? Uh, 13. Okay, I guess I didn't. And who the fuck did I roll for? I rolled for Gimbal Timbers. That's why I selected. Gimbal Timbers was 4. Mr. Dinoct was the 5. Wait, what? Mr. Denot has plus five to his initiative. <laughs> oh, you know what? I bet it rolls the token and its initiative if it has one. Mm -hmm. That makes sense to me. Okay. I don't know that. No, not yet, do I? Don't worry, guys. I'm just gonna sleep through it. <laughs> You're gonna turn into a potted plant in your sleep and be fine. Mm-hmm. Come in! Can't... <laughs> Come in. Can't possess a potted okay. plant. Uh, this guy is gonna head over here. 
use life drain. Uh, it's an attack, and Ace is currently unconscious. So it's an automatic crit. Good. At least that. We are. Well, it's been fun. Next time I come back, I'm gonna be. So that is. 36 and give me a constitution saving throw. How much necrotic damage? 36. Got it. Oh boy. It's fine. Uh, is it? Yeah, no, I, I got this. Do you? You oh, should yeah. also be awake now, I think. Yes. I would think so. But I'm uh, still gonna be proud. Kia! Are you awake? Give us a perception check. I'm awake. You are awake. What? What is this? No! Oh, I do not like ghosts. So I'll say you stand, and that's essentially your turn. Uh, Riza, what are you doing? You woke up? <clears throat> Uh, you so, no longer have the benefit of stone skin, and Skimble Timbers is no longer concentrating. Uh, it's All right, so um, just to verify, Spear <laughs> is a 30-foot cone, right? I guess. So... I'm trying to make sure I don't hit my own team with it. Uh, move a little bit. You might hit Gimbal Timbers. He's not far. Yeah, what is he? It's a gnome. He's some kind of wizard or sorcerer. The gnome. He's like a month old, man. He was a month. What? I say go for possibly hitting Gimbal Timbers and just. Um... I don't know what you're doing. I wanna. I wanna use. Wait, okay. Fear. Actually, if you stand there, you won't hit Gimbal Timbers. Because. But I'll hit. One square, then it's three squares. Then it's five squares, et cetera, et cetera, until it gets to 30 feet. All right, but I'll still hit the two in front of me, right? Yes. That's what I'm going for. Um, Give it a shot. Not to run anyone's parade, but in before ghosts are me into fear. That's true. I don't. Are they ghosts? Yes. Although it says wisdom and it says creature. Yeah, it's a wisdom saving throw, not a strength saving throw. And it says creature, but I don't know. Doesn't stipulate undead, so. You should change this. Okay. Huh. That was neat. Yeah, that's the did macro you... to uh, to do that. I did not know that was a thing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Pink text means you can click on it and make it happen. So they... They fail and they are afraid. And figure out a symbol for fear. Of course, it only works on tokens you have control of. What? 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 what, what? Ghosts uh, can apparently become afraid. That's no, I just why is my name showing up in the thing? Oh, because <laughs> Wolf's yeah, fucking around with the macros. On you. If you click you on strength what, and uh, click on your token, it makes you roll. Yep. 
You can definitely do it on any token you have control of, which makes it... But this flowery thing is fear. And for my, uh, for my bonus action, I would like... You to cannot do that. I can do healing word? You cannot do healing word. Because it's because a level spell. Because you've already spell. used a spell with a level. Yep. Oh, okay, sorry. It's, it's been a week, and I forget. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> then, um, I would like to end my turn. Wait, so... Could she use inspiration, though? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can always do inspiration. Yep. Uh, it's Mr. Denok's turn. He's gonna get up and say... Uh, elf butts. Can I roll perception out of my turn because the light has now flooded the room? <laughs> no. Or can I have advantage for perception? I feel like that would wake me up. I feel like that is waking me. <laughs> uh, perhaps. I'll decide later. Okay. Plenty of time. Uh, he is going to. Uh, was okay. Um, attack with the flame tongue short sword and the rapier. It doesn't have advantage. Uh, but both of those hit. Nice. And then, however, him just swinging his sword around doesn't seem to affect the ghost very much. Mars, your turn. Hey. You're awake, you are prone. Uh, first step, I guess, is standing up. I also currently do not have Bardic Inspiration. Um, I believe it. Uh, and then I'm going to take the Disen... Can I... If I don't have any movement, can I take the Disengage action? Standing up is half your movement. Right. Ah, I take the Disengage action. Okay. And then move one, two... Uh, wow. There's no good place to be. Um, three. I'll stand on this guy's corpse slightly to the left of Mr. Denoct. There's really no good places to stand. Uh, and then I have a bonus action. I don't have any meta magic points, so I can't do any quick casting. So I end my turn. Okay. Rio, rolling perception. Uh, boo -doo -boo -doo -boo. Hey. Yep, you're awake. Well, that's up, guys. What's with all the light? And that is the your ghost. Hey, you. What are you doing? Oh, there's a guy over there. Let's try. So you stand up, and that's essentially your turn. What? That's half yeah. my movement. Not when you just wake. I'm I'm saying because you just woke up and it's essentially going to be on the end of your turn. You have enough time to stand and that's it. Okay. So you have readied yourself for combat. Right. Unlike some of us who had to be woken up by a fucking death bolt to the face. <clears throat> So if I had been woken up by that, I could have hit him on my turn. Potentially, yeah. But it would have been a crit. Oh, crap. The fucking tokens are sharing their HP and is... God damn it. Oh, right, well, fuck. I've got like 50 turns before I come back in. I'm gonna go pull my nose. Exit the Mucus King. I'll rise for the Mucus King. I can't even do anything with their fucking anything because 
all the tokens are in turn order. Track it on paper so, then. Just huh? track it on paper or you know a notepad for now. Just keep things moving. Old school. Yep. That old school. Only one of them's taking damage anyway, so it shouldn't be too difficult. The rest of them have the same HP. This is kind of appropriate because I woke up about 15 minutes before we started, so... Yeah, it is thematically appropriate. <coughs> oh, God. Why couldn't he have just killed me in my sleep? Now I'm awake and have to move and shit? <laughs> now you have to be conscious to suffer it. No, it's right. not your turn. Okay. The Mucus King returns. Return of the Mucus King. Third okay, chapter of so the Lord of the Mucus. A hand is going to reach through the wall next to Rio and hit him. 25 to hit. Oh, that's me. All right, I'm just going to roll your constitution for you. Uh, you succeed. You take 14 necrotic damage. The exact same thing is going to happen, but from a different angle. Uh, 11 to hit. I just thought it. Oh, wait. That was not... Make that a 21. No, I like the 11. Uh, that's 23 necrotic damage. And this guy is gonna move in. He's not an advantage. He's just gonna slap, uh, no face for AC of 20 and 21 necrotic damage. Oh, also, Constitution saving throw on Wolf. Uh, for the second attack, that is a failure, so reduce your maximum HP by 21. For how- for 21? For how long? I'm sorry, no. That wasn't 21. That was 20. No, yeah, that, yeah, 23. For how long? And you don't know. Great. So, I'm hit for 21, right? Yes. Alright, so I'm at zero health. How did you? Alright. If you hit uh, exactly zero health, are you stable or are you still all, death no. rolling? Never mind. Uh, At exactly zero. She's unstable. She's unstable? Correct. Got it. Okay. Cool. This wraith. Is fear a concentration? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Fear. Yep, is let's... concentration, so these guys are no longer feared. Ooh. Dark, if you're in a bad mood, man, we could play another week. We could not <laughs> play this week. Like, I'm cool, wait. If you're angry, and... I'm not angry. It's... I don't think that. I just lost 23 max hit points. This guy's gonna attack Gimbal Timbers. It makes me look less damaged than I am. I really should have wrote down my max hit points. Well, it's whatever your current max is, plus 23. There, thanks. That'll do it. <laughs> You're welcome. This guy's gonna run over here. And try to attack Kiev. I forgot about the advantage. Uh, 18 to hit. My AC is 18. All right, that hits. I'm just going to roll your constitution for you. You succeed. Take 24 necrotic damage. Delightful. This guy is going to try and hit Mr. Denoct. A 12 does not hit him. It's Gimbal Timber's turn. Yeehaw. Oh, Yeehaw. It's Gimbal Timber's. 
Time to run the fuck away. Boy, howdy, this looks like quite a mess we in. Uh... And that's when he reveals himself to be a dragon. And kills them all. With his mighty breath weapon. There Maybe we'll just blink and get out of here. Um... Not a lot he can do. Uh, he'll cast... Magic Missile of the Darkness. Slow <laughs> on the guy in front of him. That'll kill guy him. Guy succeeds. Wonderful. Boy, howdy. That Boy, guy. howdy. My rolls are shit. The DM turns off the DM dice when I have to roll. No. This guy's gonna attack Kiev roll. again. Uh, eight versus AC misses. Kiev, what are you doing? Boy, howdy, we sure are fub Yep. Wishing Gimbal Timbers was a cleric. Boy, howdy, some turn undead would sure be useful right about now. So they're not undead, they're ghosts. Yeah, that's ghosts a good point. Ghosts are undead. No, they're not. Your face is undead. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, it is. Poor wolf's face. I don't know what I'm doing. This... I would suggest smiting a bitch. That's just me. Also, I would... I would also suggest getting away from the walls as soon as possible. I can't attack the one in the wall. No, you cannot. <clears throat> but if I move away from it, I've either wasted an action or I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. I just realized this guy couldn't have attacked you from where he was, so he'll move down to here. There you go. Does that make you happy? <laughs> <laughs> No, that does not make me happy. Boy, howdy! This is an awful predicament! How could he not have attacked him? The other guy is in the wall! <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, he totally could have. Because he can just attack through the wall. Why did you point that out? Why would you point that out? Would you rather he have advantage? I'd rather I have advantage. You wouldn't have. Right. Currently, She's the bard is on the floor. Right. I could have fixed that. Well, you could still fix no, it. No, you couldn't have. She has to get up on her turn. That's also a good point. She's prone. Regardless of what you do. He has, can't retaliate against either of the two that just attacked him. Well, he could step to the left to do it, but... Right, he would have to use the disengage action in order to not take an op attack of opportunity from guy on the right. Oh, this is absurd. Just to step left and hit the guy on the left. Alright, that's that, and what is that? That was this, me out of those. Is this really it? I don't know uh, if this is it. Sea of dragons, and you guys are like, fuck that shit. But ghosts, and, and you're done? I don't know if this is it, but it's oh, I'm sorry. pretty close. I, I could attack dragon. I can't attack the fucking wall. All right. I can't even do that because I have to. Fuck. Okay. Uh, All right. Best I can do is going to be scorching ray. I think. Hang on one sec. Oh. That would be a really good plan. Oh, I I know how he could get out of that spot. No, I can miss these stuff. Right. Of course, the question out of that is where do you go? Suggestion. Which something I've found out, uh, moving through spaces where there's allies counts as difficult terrain. That is good to know.
that you cannot move through, or an enemy that's prone. Ah. Standing enemy that you cannot move through. Can we have a house rule that a corpse of an enemy does not count as difficult terrain? Sure. Great. I don't want to add oh, more challenge course. to my current plight. That's going to be centered right where Ferris is standing. <clears throat> uh, you create a cylinder of magical energy center on a point. Glowing runes appear. This cast this requires a minute to cast. You're fucking kidding me. Cast time nope. one minute. Cast time one minute. You're goddamn mine. It's a ritual. <sighs> okay. Yeah, right? Okay. Man, remember when we had the hut? The hut was great. I missed the hut. Okay. You said my house will make the hut useless. Because it still would have. And in fact, was it the house rule that we couldn't have the hut? No. The, hu the house rule was it turns the normal die rolls from four to one. This is eight because you're in the middle of enemy territory without any real defense against the denizens. Okay, so you missed your step out. Stand up, man. I guess I should have re said that it was less useful. Yay! Now everyone but the knocked gets plus three to saving throws if they need them. Also, Gimbal Timbers, well, you know what, I'll cover that if we get to it. That's an action, that's a bonus action, I'm done. Okay. Damn it. I just realized the plan so, for my turn is wrong. Uh, Riza, I assume, stands up. I'm standing up, and um, I'm assuming to prevent this from really happening again, I'm going to have to heal myself. So he doesn't have to lay his hands on me. Well, I can't do any more lay on hands. So. Right. <laughs> that <laughs> was the last of the lay on hands. No more wandering hands for this paladin. Hey, hey, hey. What you say it? Okay. Okay. Um, Right, since I can officially do that now. Mm-hmm. Were you casting it off? Forgot that I could do Hellish Rebuke. Oh, no, I guess I could. On could've. myself. All right. You heal for da, 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 18 HP. Da, da, da. So that's 38. So what are you doing with your action? You can um, use uh, cantrips still. You can attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can disengage. I can use cantrips? Yeah. Yeah. Just cantrips not a spell are not with a level. level. Cantrips are not level spells. Oh, okay. So if it's got a level number, you can only have one of those per round. But a cantrip is technically like a zeroth level spell in 3 5. And doesn't count as a leveled spell. Uh, that's the uh that's a wisdom saving bro. Alright. Guys wisdom. Uh he fails. Yay! So we take whole three. And he has disadvantage on his next attack, right? Um Yep. And then my turn is over. Rio, on your next turn, you should you should throw a Pokeball. Uh, Mr. Denoct. I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. So instead of attacking twice, you want me to throw a useless bear? What could nah, you it's attack? going nah, to... Nah, it's fine. Also, what can you attack? That's a great question. Uh, he's going to... Oh shit, did Decoy use his, uh, he didn't. Okay. Although, so then you wouldn't have disengaged, so. Short, short against the guy to the south of him. 
he hits, so... He's gonna do some damage to that ghost. Then he's going to run to over here. He's going to use his action sir. Where did he get his second going... attack first? Hmm? Where did he get his second attack first? He doesn't have a second attack. Right. He has He two can't weapon. attack with the oh, other he... weapon? He has two weapon attacks. He doesn't get a second bonus action. Okay, explain to me how dual wield works. You can, if you have a weapon in your offhand, then you, and it's a light weapon, although you took dual wield, so it no longer has to be a light weapon. Uh, you can attack with it as a bonus action. After you attack, after you use the attack action. Okay. I did not know it was a bonus. I lost um, Wolf and Thor's yeah. camera. So, oh, those were both disadvantage. Uh, I guess we're all ghosts now. And sneak attack. We're sneak all attack? ghosters now. Sneak attack? It's not uh, even trying to load the cameras. Oh, whatever. Doris, what are you doing? Evil is taking a shit on someone's chocolate cake and convincing them to eat it. That's what evil is. Yes. I don't know what's happening. Sorry. We gotta, we gotta get away from the walls. If uh, at all possible. You know, I think I said that earlier. <laughs> um... Shit. I didn't know there were four of them in there. Okay, I can't do the thing I wanted to do, so instead I'm going to cast Scorching Ray as a third level spell. Um, it being third level, I get to do, um, four ranged attacks. Um, and I pick, uh, the four that I can see, which is that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy. All right. So we're going to go clockwise from this guy. Okay. Um, so one, oh, I have to hit okay every, God damn it. It shouldn't ask me for input value on spell level. It should just... Alright. Ugh, fucking one... Two... Hold on, I'm gonna fix this, because I can't take it. Keep... Keep extras... It shouldn't have... It has no at higher level. I shouldn't be able to cast it at a higher level. I think because Don't. you could technically cast it as a higher level spell slot, even though it does nothing. Alright. Alright. Well, continuing. Three. And four. Damn. Good AC rolls. Yeah. <clears throat> All of those hit... You blast your various laser beams in all directions. They leave small holes in the ghosts that slowly reform. Alright, and then, um... I still have no meta magic points, so I can't do a bonus action. Um... And I didn't have to wild magic, so I don't have to roll for that. And I don't like the way that I'm that close to one of them. If I if I step here, will I be in a threatened square for this guy and yes. cause an area of attack if I move out of it? Yes. Well, if you move to here, you're still fine. Right. If you move to here, you'll be attacked. Right. Likewise, this guy is also getting all of these squares. Oh, shit, fuck me. Okay, um... Alright, I should've done my original plan then. Oh well. Um... <coughs> well, nothing new about that, and I'm closest to three of them, which is bad. And I... I guess I could... Okay, so... 10, 20... 
2530? No, oh, because once right. I step you there... You move through allies. Once I move there, I'm in his threatened square again. So I can get there. That's true. So that's the best I can do. At least then I'm the gonna... closest to one of them. Can you get there? Yeah. That way you're not... Because this, this is 20, and then 25. Yeah. This is the... This is... You can get right here. I, I could get right there yeah. for 30. Hide no, directly be behind Mr. Denot. You right. cower behind Mr. Denot. <laughs> End turn? End turn. Mr. Denot, save me! This seems I so did have advantage in that you could... Alright, Wolf, what are you doing? If I, I take disengage, do I disengage from both of them? Yes. Take disengage. Bonus action. Do that could be awesome. Alright. And I guess I'm gonna hit this guy. Alright. See, you were fine. You didn't need my advantage. Yeah, I did. Both of those hit. Oh, wow, well, I did. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Is he dead? Nope. I'm gonna try well, and reconnect it. <laughs> Because uh, they're all going to go next. You can use your bonus action with you to guys. Them. No, I can't use my bonus action for disengage. That's right. So I'm done. Do, can I... Um, the things in the wall, can they be seen? Can we see them at all? They will when they exit the wall. Yeah. So we don't see, like, stuff sticking out. Yeah. Well, you see when their hand comes out to touch someone. Boogie boogie. Uh, he's gonna have a vantage. See him. Uh, ten versus no. AC misses. Uh, this guy. Nineteen. That uh, is wait. Oh. Wait. When his hand comes out, I can see him? Yeah. He has disadvantage. That cancels out his advantage, so that's actually a six. Or, sorry, a nine. And that misses. Advantage from, real quick. Yeah, what did he have advantage from? He can't be seen when he's in the wall. So he's essentially making what amounts to a sneak attack, because he can't be... Uh, Okay. I don't know why that didn't copy what's actually in the text, but uh, when I a know, creature you can see right. attacks a target other than you that is within five feet of you, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. This guy's gonna go here. He has advantage against him. Wolf. I hit him. Yes, you do. <laughs> that is your reaction. Correct. I have nothing better to use it for, so I always forget to fucking use that. So he has advantage on this, and he rolls an eight. I mean, he has because it's flanking. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, this guy equally is going to try Rio for the advantage. Nineteen. Nineteen does not hit. Nineteen does not hit. Wow. It's pretty fucking good. Okay. Uh, I, need, I need to upgrade my armor. My AC is 20. Question for my next turn, Dark. Can I step uh -huh. into Mr. Denoct, cast something on Rio, and then step back out of Mr. Denoct? Uh. Or is that not a kosher thing to do? I'm sure Mr. Denoct will enjoy it. Well, yeah, but... He's not here I right now. If the answer is no, it's it. The find the answer is no. I'm just gonna say no because this can lead to very odd kinds of formations where you'll just walk through, stand in someone's thing, like heal a tank okay. or whatever, and then walk back. Yep. All right. Just wanted to clarify because that's gonna change what I do next turn. This guy's gonna floof over here, and uh. He's gonna hit the bard. 19 to hit. 
And it's 24 necrotic damage. Uh, I roll to disbelieve the damage. Me too. I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts either. They're not here. Everything's uh, fine. They're not here. You can't see me. I can't see you. He's going to try and attack Rio 22 to hit this time. That hits. Oh, man. Don't forget Hellish Rebuke. We succeed, so that's 18 necrotic damage. And now it's Gimbal Timber's right. turn! Hell is a reaction, right? It's a reaction, yep. What's reaction? Hellish Rebuke. Oh, that's right. Might as well get some damage done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to use it? And that does not take a spell slot, right? Correct. Correct. And I get it back on my next turn? When you have a no. reaction. No? Just one per day? What is it? Your that? reaction, yes. The spell, no. Ah. The spell ah. Okay. That makes sense. Still, it's a fair amount of fucking damage for a one day. So this is and the that's one the guy who uh... attacked you, which was this guy. Oh yes, that guy. That's that's it. Mm -hmm. And dexterity saving throw, not not strength. I'll figure I'll figure out how to change it all. Uh, he critically fails, so he's taking that eighteen. The fire doesn't seem to affect him as much as it should. Oh. I think it should. <laughs> Me too. Boy, howdy! This is some real fucked up shit. I tell you what. You're voiced by the DM. He did this. You don't get to say those things. Is <laughs> what I would say if um, I had meta knowledge. You're right, Gitmo. <laughs> <laughs> he has no good spell for this situation. Uh, does he have, uh, perhaps, a self-detonation spell that destroys all enemies and not allies? If he was an evoker, he could do that. Oh. Are you sure he's not? He looks like this side a little bit. <laughs> uh, no. If you turn he him is. in the right light... I don't know what an evoker is. So. It's a type of wizard. Yep. At his level, they'd be able to shape... Spells allow you to cast uh, damaging spells, AOE damaging spells, and then choose a number of creatures equal to their intelligence modifier to automatically save on the check and to automatically give them the benefit of evasion so they take no damage. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Wizard will be the next character I make. Uh, fuck, well, I don't know. Might as well start on that. <laughs> uh, chromatic orb, fifth level. Alright, not fire. Uh, Wait, what's happening? Ghosts, what I, you won't use ass now, ghosts, and they're resistant to fire. Let's go with... I would go with Lightning. lightning? I'm gonna go with lightning damage. We're not related. Oh no, wait, we are related. I get those <clears throat> confused. You're shoot. related to a gnome? Yeah. This. Yeah. Tiefling. An extremely tall tiefling. Right. <laughs> uh, the <sighs> but I'm young at no. heart. Check their resistances. Real talk, though. Okay, it doesn't seem to do as much damage as you would expect it to. Uh, well, I guess that's good for me to know later. If you Boy, how did some bullshit. All right, like so resistant to fire triumph. and lightning. So the only things we have left are cold. Which I'm sure they're resistant to. Poison. Thunder. Thunder, maybe? Because it's a force? This is abs this absolutely fascinating, and I did not expect these things. Anyways! Wraith's all alive. 
I'm gonna attack the bar. Yep. Yep. Uh, he has disadvantage. He does. Seventeen. That's a hit. Uh. Negative you three. critically failed your constitution saving throw, so reduce both your current HP and your max HP by 32. Yep. Good. Good. I'm negative 35. Yeah, do those compound so she takes like 60 something damage or. The, the reducing max HP doesn't add on to damage. Okay, that was the question. Uh, question. What is your current max HP? Uh, if you uh, do. Uh, 52? Okay. Yeah. So what were so you at before... Is... What were you at before you got hit? Kiev, your turn. Okay. Well, if you're... Wait... You're talking about after I took the 32 damage, the 32 max, whatever? The 32 damage, right. How much did you... How much HP I'm did down, you have? I had 52, and now I'm down to 20. Right. No, I'm saying what was your current health? Your you current damage? max HP is 20. Yep. Making her the lowest in the party, uh, even before she took the max HP hit. Also meaning that it did more damage than her max I guess I could just escape. This city doc could probably make so it. So what is too. the what's the order of the stack there, Dark? As far as you what know, happens I'd say first? After they take the damage, they make the saving throw, so I'm just gonna say it's fine. Right. That's that would be my analysis as well. So you were reduced, so you reduced in da in health to what, Mia? What was your current health before you got hit? Before I was hit was negative three. What? What? No, you weren't. Uh, you you would have been unconscious. He hit me twice. No, he did not. That's what we're no, saying. No, I did not. I'm very confused. I don't know what's going on anymore. I wanted to know what your health was before you got hit. I don't... I don't remember. Dark was talking a lot, and he said a whole bunch of numbers. <laughs> he does that. I said 17 okay, so... to hit, which hits you, uh -huh. and 32 necrotic damage. Okay. You also reduce your maximum HP by 32. Oh, I'm... I'm still in the negative then. No, you're not. Because what? the damage your happens maximum first. Maximum HP. Then you reduce your max. Not your current. You do not touch your current when you reduce your max. That's why I'm asking the question. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Add 64 to what you currently have. What are you at? This is kind of important. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have stopped the whole thing. Right. Right. We got to make sure this is right, because... 64 to what I have is 9. Would be 9? Okay. 9 minus... That doesn't... So, uh. that reduces her to... Um, dark. Make sure I'm doing this math right. Um, wow, I can't even math right now. Fucking 2 is 7, 13, negative 13. And her max HP will be reduced to 20, meaning that she's at negative 13 of 20. That's your current HP. I'm right. still negative. You are still negative, still negative but, but you're not dead. But dead. you're not insta-dead. Right. That's the important bit. You would have been completely dead, can't bring you back. Well, if can bring her back true. with just, you know... I don't have 250 gold worth of diamonds. <laughs> well... I do somewhere, <laughs> but that's not important now. Uh, 
I also don't have that spell prepared. That we would have to go see a cleric for. So <laughs> you're at zero because you're not dead. Right. Right. Okay. So zero. So zero unconscious. Yeah, Maximum is twenty. All right. Next turn. Sorry. This is... Lots of fucking moving parts with those guys' attacks. This is crazy. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Ace. This is crazy. I did not expect this to happen. Yeah, neither did we. <laughs> no, I didn't realize we had to roll extra dice if we were in here. That no ne- we I feel like that this is our that never fucking rest. happens. Yeah. I was going to have it be a surprise. It was. I had a surprise. Congratulations. <laughs> it was a surprise. There were many right. things that were done that I did not expect. There's very little that I can do other than just try Half to kill things. So. Don't have spells. Things are in walls. Okay. Uh, I suggest just going on a rampage. Yeah. yeah Hunter's Mark. If I could run away. Kill this guy. Thank you. Right. I was about to say, kill that guy, please. Yeah, he's old. Uh, that's a hit. And you swing with your mace, and then the ghost form just suddenly turns into a like mist and then dissipates. Oh, whoops, that's a d6 anyway. Okay, so he's dead. Um, I still have the second attack that I can use, but I have to do this. Uh, so don't leave a corpse, so... Poof. I can't... Oh, thank God. Mm. You gotta move away from the wall, so the choices are use a disengage action next turn, which means you he... won't attack next turn. Or you can take the damage and hit someone else with your next attack. All right. Uh, one person is gonna get attacked. Uh, he misses. So ghostly hands reach out of the wall towards Kiev as he turns. They miss, and the dragonborn charges forward, getting behind one of the ghosts facing Rio. Wings his mace leaving a gaping hole that has turned to mist into the ghost. That is a nice Never damage mind. roll. He unleashes the power of his god! Turns the ghost to dust. And that'll do it. Alright. Riza, give me a death saving throw. How excited. I thought there was a button for this. There is. Uh, yeah, there is. Death saves. Yep. It's right on... below your initiative. Mm-hmm. There you go. You do not have advantage, so that is a failure. That's one. Oh, but you got back. your reaction back. <laughs> Next time, hold your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. No one said you can't hold your turn. While you you're can't dying. hold your turn while you're unconscious. Oh, while you're conscious. Mr. Sure? Dinoct is like you going to I'm going to tell him here. Well, actually, he's going to go here, because the mage doesn't need that shit. That's right. Uh, and he shall use the power of his sword and rapier as a critical hit. Yeah, it is. But there's fire damage. Totally shit. Well, it does reduce damage. It still does damage. is 13 physical 5 fire the rapier misses but he still gets his the rapier has attack. advantage rapier has advantage that's right alright 
he swings his sword through the ghost, or through the ghost, and it slowly turns into a mist with each strike. But then it reforms back into his ghostly elven shape. Loris, your turn. Oh, no wonder they're assholes. They're elf ghosts. Hey, half our party is elven. Not me, yeah, but the, I'm just saying. The exceptions. All right, I'm going to step over to Rio. I'm going to touch him on the shoulder, and he's going to feel a warm sensation, like he had just done crack cocaine. Uh, or he just peed himself. No, not like that. It's a very dry, warm sensation. So, what are you casting? Uh, haste. Except I forgot I have to hit spell input level. It Gains plus two bonus AC. Gains bonus on deck saves. Haste is concentration. Um, he gains an additional action where he can use a one weapon attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use object. Well, I guess I'll make a bear. Or, or attack again. Or attack again, or disengage, or whatever it is you need to do. Uh, because I am going to go one, uh, over here. One, two, three, four, five. I used one space to get uh, ah. to touch range with him. Okay. Hide uh, inside his corpse. I plan on it. Uh, Rio, what are you doing? <laughs> Anything the guy next to me? Right. Hit. That is also hit. With two mighty strikes of your mace or staff, ghost dissipates into a mist. Does not reform. Alright, I think I'm going to use my other... that action thing to use the bag and throw a fuzzy ball right here. Uh, okay. What well, was it, a 1d6? Something like that. If you click on the item, I think it does it for you. Well, that would mean I would have to have added the item to my inventory. Right. <laughs> it for him? I think Ace deleted it. I sent you a picture of it, but here, I got you. Yeah, he did. I just never added it. I don't know. And the stupid fucking. It is a one d. Where did that even come from? I missed that. Very first dungeon. Way, way long ago. Really. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. This bag is also a real old. Where we all woke up chained together. Yeah, that's the one. You said it to be odd. Discord, but that was forever was ago. I can resend it to you. Number? Uh, number five. <laughs> number five is a black bear. Roar. Does it have a top hat? God willing. Right, right. It does. Right. Awesome. Not one square south so that it draws out the ghosts from the wall? No, because it might go for Gimbal and be Timbers. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh, I don't know if I want to stand there either. I'd like to. I guess I'll stand. Whoops. I guess I'll stand here. I wouldn't. What? Why? <laughs> Why not here? Oh, I wouldn't either. Do you like acid? <laughs> oh. What's acid? Oh. Hey, it's up to you. If if you want to do that, that's fine. I just want to do the breath thing. I don't know if it'll work very well. Right here? Is your breath a line or a cone? Just attack that guy. It's a line. Okay, then yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll attack that one. I didn't want to mess with cones. <laughs> yeah, that's, seems a, awkward. that's a good point. Lines are much more manageable. 
Both of those hit? Okay, that's my turn. Your punches and kicks cause oh. the creature to... I guess oh. I give the bear the command, get ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you into this world. They're gonna take you right back. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You have served me honorably. Uh, Prepare for death. <laughs> for six seconds, you have served honorably. <laughs> Not bad. Six seconds is like the whole six rounds of combat. He's only been alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It took a whole two ghosts. So one hand reaches out of the wall and slowly sucks the life force out of the bear. And then another emerges from the wall and does the exact same. Bear, die. You were a good bear. It was a good bear. It was you. You were it the was good bear. A very good bear. <laughs> Gimble Dimbus. AC of 12. I just realized that that was a disadvantage. And had it not had disadvantage, which it didn't, that was a 20. That is a critical hit. Uh... Bye, Gimbal. Literally, goodbye, Gimbal. That's a lot of damage to have done to the, to the gnome. Sorry, buddy. He's still alive, but he's on the ground. I'm not dead. If he had failed that constitution saving throw, that would have been his full maximum HP reduced to zero. Oh, boy. He gets How to make a death work? saving throw. How would he that instantly work? dies and then is raised as another ghost. Oh, is that what <laughs> So... Uh, <laughs> So a ghost comes out of that bear then? No, because the bear still has. Actually. Oh. Um. Oh. Uh, that's great to know. <laughs> good, good choice for this encounter. Well. <sighs> uh. No more bears. Interesting. All right, no more bears. I thought that was a good idea to distract them for a round, but... Yep, me too. Uh, Gimble Timbers has one death saving throw that he failed. Great. This race no longer has disadvantage. And it moved over here. I hit it. You hit it. Not with bite, although that would have been but... great. Why was the 19 also green? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's weird. Oh, uh, you have it set hits. to auto crit because its crit range is 1 for some reason. Oh, I must have changed it forever. Because uh, we did that for something. Boss, right. Attack you with life drain. That is a 23 to hit. Uh, I have 22, so that hits. Okay, let me take care of the customer. Saving throw for you. Reduce Wonderful. both your current HP and maximum HP by 24. 24. Got it. Current first. On the ground. What's your current 38. 38. 38. Okay. Kiev, your turn. Do you have any spells left, Ace? I got a handful. <laughs> I'm I'm reaching into my level ones. I'm not gonna lie. Give. What do you think you're doing? Don't go towards them. There's no one up there to even try to save. Just back up. Yeah. That's what do you mean back up? Me. To draw them out. Don't move towards them. Right. 
No, yeah, this is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I have, you were. I have two spell slots left. I have a level one and a level three. I you weren't wound, there. I have to touch to do it. You weren't there, but I, I might definitely. Might be better off using smite. Like that Reese is that, on the ground well, and has failed the death save. I, it's up to you, man. I just you're on the ground. Oh yeah, no. They I they still have they still have at least two more death saves to go. I, I know that doesn't sound like a lot. Rio is still up. Rio has still ability. hasn't done a death save. The knock is still up. Reese is still up. I... You can salvage this. <laughs> I wonder what their movement speed is. There's four of them left, and they're doing 20 and 20 max HP every time they hit. Dark, what's their movement speed? That's an interesting question. Just so I know if this is possible for me to for me to win this. Uh, you don't know. Uh, All right, And great. we still didn't hear if the bear got resurrected as a ghost. You don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't fucking know. I would say Denoct and Kiev have to back up and we'll regroup so that we can try and pick them off one at a time. They're going to clump together. We don't have time. Oh. Wait, this. Right, but you realize that jumping into four of them is death. That is definitely death. That is not like a little bit of death. That is death. Yeah, they'll definitely collapse on you, and I don't even know if you'll end up getting an advantage on any. They will most certainly have advantage on you. Just so we're clear, this was like an hour and a half of us trying to rest. <laughs> this wasn't exploring the dungeon more. This was trying to rest. Does this does this line go through both of them? Uh. Could you do the line again? Passes through the corner of the squares. That's DM's prerogative. Uh, sure. Probably won't even do anything. But... Yeah, but might as well. Oh, and it's a five by line? Yeah, no, that definitely hits them. So, you unleash your acid breath doesn't seem to have the potency it normally <laughs> would against creep. Alright, ticking off acid as well. <laughs> oh. I'm done. Okay. Alarisa, uh, give me a death saving throw. Alarisa89, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the madness where today we are playing Dungeons and Dragons and possibly dying. That is another failure. Thank you so much for the follow. Now she's in trouble. Uh... Alright, can I just load from the last save point? <laughs> you cannot. That is not how D&D works. Mr. Denoct is going to attack right, the one in front of him surprise. with the flame tongue sword and the one, the other one with the over rapier. Rapier crits for 12, unfortunately. This one disappears. This one takes some damage. Okay, let me double check my spell here. And Mr. Dinoct is going to zoom all the way down. Okay. Loris, your turn. Yep. Um. All right. Well, that kind of took some of the thunder away from my turn, but that's fine. Um. 
uh, ice knife on the guy directly in front of me. This guy? Awesome. Yeah. Alright. That's a hit. And that's piercing and cold. Mm hmm. Piercing for the knife. The cold is on every creature within five feet of the point that the ice knife exploded. Every creature? I believe so, but I don't know. Hold on. Uh, creature within range. Make a range. Hit or miss. Shard explodes. Each creature within five feet. Shit. Okay. Uh, Gimbal Timbers goes down to two failed death saving throws, and Riza is dead. I didn't realize that fucking... Wait, she, she failed twice? She failed twice. <sighs> Can I retcon that decision? I didn't realize she failed twice, and I didn't also realize that she was there and going to be Right, I that. didn't realize that taking damage automatically increased your death it by does. failure. Yep, yep, it does. I knew that. I just didn't recognize that she would get hit by it. Can I retcon that move? Okay. All right. I nope. said Dark doesn't need any help killing us. <laughs> Chromatic orb level one ice. No, not ice. Yeah, fuck it, ice. Because that's all I can. No. Thunder. Let's go with thunder. Okay. At least that way I know it's only gonna hit one person. Again, one in front of me. All right. Uh, it seems to do less damage than you would expect. Well, that's all the damage types that I can do. So. That is all the damage types. Fuck me. Good mob. I like this mob. Seven of them? <laughs> Why did we have 20? This would be over. <laughs> I... Surprise! I think it's hilarious. Um, okay, so... And then we all die. That's what I'm sending to you. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Uh, that's the end of my turn. I got nothing. I have no meta magic. Um, okay, Rio had points. already done his death save and throw and he failed. Yep. Wow, um, how are we getting this many failures? Also, I'm not oh. concentrating anymore, obviously, because Rio is unconscious. Right. I cannot benefit from haste. He's I'm gonna try slow. and he's normal. Uh, 11 misses. Can move at least 30 feet, which is the terrible, Vintage. terrible sign. 24 to hit? Mm -hmm. 24 hits. Uh, you fail your constitution saving throw, so reduce your current and maximum HP by 27. Oh, normal. That was a good move, Dark. Well, leaving, leaving Kiev all alone by himself. Uh, 25 hits. Take another 23 necrotic damage. Uh, oh. Wait, how many times did I just attack you? Three, three times. Three. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I must have... I did them out of order somehow. That guy shouldn't have even... Oh, wow. Those three guys shouldn't have even moved. Well, it's his turn. Gimbal Timbers. Uh... Okay. Succeeds. Two. Think, think, think. Kiev, your turn. Do the thing, Kiev! Just... Smite them! Yes, I will smite them with my one last remaining level one spell. I... Do it. Mm -hmm. I thought you said it, you had a level one and level three. Also, why haven't you been moving your marker around? 
It wasn't technically on. How long does it last? In it, I believe. He didn't cast it this turn. That guy's been dead for four hours. Right. <laughs> what? No, there was a guy right here. Yeah, I did use oh, it. You did? He oh. used it on ghosts, yeah. Oh, when you take away the corpse, it's hard to remember. Yeah, um, this is tough. useless, but fine. Um, which one of these three looks more hurt? Uh, the guy in front of you. Okay. Then he's marked. Okay. So that is 17. If the first one was enough to kill him with a plus two, then attack one of the other ones. Uh, it was not. But then you strike the one in front of you with two strikes, and he poofs into dust. Good. Okay. Enter. There's nothing else I can do. Reza, give me a death saving throw. That is a success. Jesus Christ, thank you. Did not just gonna move here. Mr. Denoft has advantage on all of these attacks. Right here. Sword. I'm gonna say he does the flame tongue first because that's what he wants his sneak attack to go off of. All those both hits. So that is twenty-seven to fire and then nine piercing. Varus, your turn. Sorry, I just realized I have a thing. It's not very descriptive. I know. Uh, it is a on hit the target takes T44, and then 2D4 on the end of its turn. Not really useful right the second, so fuck it. Um. Thing I have is the wand. Okay. Wait. Us. So that one then. That has to be the one. Um, alright. Uh Mr. Denar could have saved everyone, and I completely forgot. Mr. Denar, what? Nothing. Alright. Um, remind me what the dash ability does. You can move again. <coughs> How much is that? So, 15. So that's 20. 30. 32. Uh, so that's 50. Okay. And then, what does it cost to apply a potion to someone. Action. Fuck. It's not enough. Right, that's what I realized because decoy is a thief. Right? Cat burglar, whatever it's called. They can use an item as a bonus action. That would have been so immensely could have just useful. Ran, actually... Uh, he has super move, so that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to run over here. He's... Never mind, because he attacked the Raker and got a critical. Correct. Okay, so... He did do that. Shit. Okay, and I can't haste over there, unfortunately. Haste would give me a bonus action, but I could only use it to dash and make it there. So, the best I can do is stand there uselessly... And maybe Beatrix will live. 
maybe. <laughs> that's that's the best I can do. Come on. Oh, okay. Um. All right. Mr. Denoct can do that on his turn anyway, so that means that the best thing that I can do is um, Wand of Binding on the monster in front of me. This guy? Yeah. So I All cast right. Hold Monster with a spell DC of 17. Wisdom? Uh, wisdom, yes, I believe so. Uh, Does that even cast. work on that thing, since it can phase through matter? Uh, hold monsters, any creature. Right. He is held. Right. So he is paralyzed for the duration. No, he's not. I take it back. Retcon. Spell does not work oh, on undead. Oh. That's the only stipulation. It's literally the only creature that it can't work on. Fuck. All right. Um, original plan. I'm going to cast haste on myself. I'm going to take the dash action. I'm going to stand next to no face. I'm going to have a greater healing potion in my hand, unable to do anything but look at it and hope that I, she doesn't die. Rio, give me a death saving throw. Boom. Another success. Oops, I hit it again. I fisted the ground. Success. Uh, these two I have advantage against everyone's favorite. That's an 11, so that misses. Another attack against Kiev. That's a 14, so that misses. Gimbal Timbers is going. Uh, that's another failure for Gimbal Timbers. Kiev, your turn. Move my mark to him. Actually, no. Move my mark to him. Okay. I'm going to attack the one to my right. Uh, reloading the page real quick because I lost music. I also lost music. Oh. That hits. Music as well. The one to the right of me, uh, 10 damage. Is he pretty well hurt? Dead? What? Uh, he's pretty hurt. But he's still there. No, he's not. Let me switch this off. Boss comic, because this shit's intense. Poof! He disappears. I left. Uh. That all hits. So that's 13 and 9. Oh. Okay. Wait. Oh, shit. Decoy should have been doing normal damage with his silver. They're not resistant to silver weapons. Uh. Ready? <laughs> I only read from non-magical and I stopped reading. It's non-magical that are not silver. Good. I'm done. Riza, no face, Crinies. Let's see if the Crinies name survives. Alright, everybody on the edge of their seat. Yep. I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> nope. Hey. Riza, no face, cry needs. Good sleep encounter. Knocked is gonna run to the other side of this guy. And now do all of his attacks.
the swords go out, stabbing tiny holes in them until there's nothing but mist left. And then it reforms, though it looks like it is having great difficulty maintaining its shape. My turn? Yep. <sighs> Healing potion on Gimble Tempers what? for eight. I walk over to Rio. Greater healing potion for him for 11. Two ones in that roll. You gotta be shitting me. Uh, how do you get the second action? Haste. Haste. Right. Ca Self-casted haste last turn. So I could use the dash movement so I could get to them. Oh, uh, smart. End turn? Uh, yeah, end turn. It's all of my actions. Rio, you're conscious again. What did you do? I stand up. Okay. Uh, two feet is half, not half my. I'm gonna hit him. Just let me know when he's dead. <laughs> You unleash a flurry of blows upon him. The entire creature dissipates into Then I go over here and I kill whatever was supposed to come out of the bear. <laughs> <laughs> you just Is it that smash, you just lay into that bear. How dare it. How dare it die. You had one job, bear. Okay. Technically, the bear's one job was to die. Right, I didn't know dying would spawn another ghost, though. Which never happened. Okay. So, do we have to roll again if we try to complete our rest? Per the rules, you can only be interrupted once. Okay. Good to know. But I'm pretty sure if we rest, Resist stays dead. So we need to leave and find a cleric, I believe. Yep. That is a good analysis of the situation. So we do that. Okay. Um, you said you have 250 gold worth of diamonds? I have 250 gold. As far as worth of diamonds, that'll be a little more difficult. I'm well, sure I we do. We got a sh gold. I'm sure we do, though, because we got a bunch of gems that we never did shit with. Right, there's also, also that. 300 gold. But that's on somewhere else. In town, at least. I'm sure they'll just give me what I need. I'm the king air person. Right, there's that. Um, <sighs> so How big is a diamond worth 25 gold points, gold pieces? How much is what? How big would a diamond be that's worth 25 gold pieces? Not especially big. Paint me uh, 12 of those. I could do that. Um, Quickly within a minute? Within a minute? I could probably do that. Uh, no, I'm getting a shake of the head from the DM. Finding a shop that sells diamonds within a minute. Oh, I'm going to paint them. Oh, you're going to paint them? Yeah. That wasn't like a euphemism. We're going to make them reality. Um, okay. Also, real quick. Um, 
quick inventory of the paints. What do I see for each of them? Uh, let's see here. Since I'm not drug addled, at least I won't fucking draw any more fucking peppers. Uh, the frog is almost completely gone. Mm -hmm. I thought we had an hour to revive. That is for. I don't know what she's got, race. but I've got a minute. Right, oh, you've got you a have minute. to revivify because you're only a paladin. You're a half caster. If you had a cleric, he'd have raised by this point. Oh, I was gonna go into town and find a cleric. I'm sure there's a cleric in town. You don't have. It, we have an hour for that case. So right. this isn't like in fourth edition where you guys are kind of just adventurers in a world filled with adventurers. In fifth edition. Just by being level one, you're already leagues above most other living beings, besides like special creatures and other people with classes. You'd be lucky if you could find someone that's a level five cleric, let alone a level 10. This is the city established by one of the champions. Yes. After the throne shatter, if there were a level, if there were a cleric in any town, it would be in one of those towns. There are clerics here, but you're looking for a high level cleric. Okay. Anyway, it's back good, to good Kate. information. Back I guess Rio would know that because he's new to this one. That's good information to have. Paint because inventory. we might have actually just brought them with us in case this happened. So, for example, Gimbal Timbers here, who is this crazy Indiana Jones kind of character. We I only, believe he's only like level six. We only got as far as uh, Frog. So, what are the other paints at? There's no time to worry about it. Just take the one that's most full. Right. That's what I, that's what I want to know. Uh, Frog is, is very little. The others are relatively more than half. More than half? Great. I pick Barry. And just um, make drawings of very tiny diamonds. Like 12, like not even the size of a fingernail sized diamond, I would say. Okay. Just That's... That's going to be my yeah. guesstimate for how, how big a 25 gold piece diamond would look like. 25. Okay. Yep. There. Uh. Give me a dexterity check to see if you can paint fast enough. Okay. Okay. Save and check would have been the same. So. Very quickly, just dab down tiny diamonds. I'm Bob Rossing this shit. Until you have a bunch of tiny diamonds. Kia very quickly piles them up just takes his mace, just starts smashing them into tiny bits until they're nice. <coughs> oh wait, it's just diamonds worth 300? Sorry, yeah. but usually it's diamond dust. It's just diamonds. Yeah. Okay. Good to know my mace can crush diamonds. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool.
God, it's returned this person. And blah, 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 whatever. All right. Want you guys to come down and be like, how dare you, blah, 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 whatever, the sacred ritual of revivify. Usually you pee on them, too. <laughs> I'm into that. No face returns to her body. Hooray. I'm very dramatic about it, too. Alright, what do you do? Of course. I go. <gasps> oh, shit. How long was I asleep? Approximately one minute. I must have been really tired. Yeah, we'll go with really tired. All right, so. Derek, how does Barry look at this point? How the fuck do I get my HP? Hmm? How the fuck do I get my HP back? Uh, give me a religion check. No, I gave you better. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Damn it. This shit's not natural. This Those shit ain't natural. Ain't natural. No Sweet. face leaves and you have crit. to embark on a journey to find <laughs> the great Kalamazoo. I love that guy. No face. Somewhere nope. in the center of the continent. No face just uh, died and stayed in the void of I nothing. Convinced, no I convinced Rio of the same thing. Yes. The great Kalamazoo is a beastly creature uh, 500 feet tall. A giant horn that cries tears made of pure magic platinum water. So what do I know? And drinking it will take a long rest. Will cure you of all ailments. I believe if we finish our rest, we will be fine. Alright. But I do that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Before I finish my long rest, how does the berry paint look at this point? Uh, relatively the same. You really didn't spend a lot of. Paint okay, on great. It. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Just and keep then, them on right, and then before we go to sleep, I hand another twelve uh, tiny diamonds to Kiev. Cool. Just in case. Whoops. <laughs> I keep doing that by accident. And then I take my rest. So, no face mumbles something to herself. Yeah, she's been doing that. Spooky. Okay. So you all complete your long rest. Thank fuck. Everyone goes to their max HP. Spells, mommy. Spells. I have spells but, uh, again. It's not too bad taking a long rest if we only have to do that shit once. Yeah. The possibility for it happening twice, it's not worth it. We just need to be better prepared for something like that to happen if we want to take a long rest. Never sleep near a wall. That's what I learned. Yup, that's a good lesson. 
I need to find a feat that lets me wake up faster. Whew. Nice, nice just personal alarm. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a ward spell in 3E, but I don't know if that's a thing anymore. I There's want the alarm. Hunt back. There is the uh, oh. ward spell that for the magic circle that Kiev was trying to cast. Oh. Yeah, but that only lasts an hour. I mean, I'd have to cast it at level... That's a level 3 spell, and it's an extra hour for each spell slot above 3rd. Right. So, so you... I'd have to cast it at level Seven, like, 12, at least, which right. I don't even have access to. So, like, a an hour for each level, and... Oh, yeah, you'd need to cast as an 8. Spoiler so, alert, yeah. I don't think there are level 12 spells. There are not. It only goes up to 9. Well, the most I could if get I had to guess, they did that on purpose. So, get max HP, you get back half of your... Uh... Alright, so here's the new plan. Uh, we go to the entrance of this place, and we just keep resting and grinding XP until we're <laughs> maxed <up. laughs> That's how we do it. We're doing this the Final Fantasy way now. All right. Then all the other encounters will be easy. That's how it works. Well, <laughs> you said that we get back. Well, we get back our HP and then half of what? Half hit of die. your hit dice, all your HP, and all of your spell slots. Yep. And return to your normal max HP. Yep. As well. Also, if you try to grind XP by resting, I'm going to enact old school D and D rules. In which case, a full days of rest gives you one HP back. No, I don't want to go by that rule. I also don't want to have but to grind it. It wouldn't help. <laughs> so, even in the long term, he creates the encounters to our level. So it's not really Right, gonna... that's what I'm saying. It wouldn't even help. That would do nothing. Right. We would just have access to higher stuff, and we would just continue on at the same level. That's not fun. Right. Also true. All right, well. We're resting. Right. All right. Yep. I would not mind, though, however, for every time we stop, like we say, oh, you're going on a five day journey. And I go, okay, we're resting. Roll the dice every time. That way we could. But I don't even want to level them. That like that is what's supposed to happen. I just don't do it when you're on the boat. Yeah, and I think it's more fun this way. Otherwise, we'd end up leveling way too fast, and we wouldn't get to enjoy the level we're at. Like, I'm still cool being this level, right? and we're almost to the next one. That being said, I'm going to get the hut at the next it's level. because the the XP, the, the creature ratings are just completely foobar. I wonder if I can get the good hut at the next level. So, what do you, so you guys wake up. Still Wait. feel the dark presence all around you. Oh, we still feel that dark. It was does, a whole dark. Does the, does the good hut not take all our stuff once it disappears? <laughs> We've been over this. <laughs> you don't know. No. <laughs> right, you I, don't know. You have not been over this because you have, I haven't. Yeah. I have, right. <laughs> you have not. So, what are you guys doing? The drawbridge still lowered. To your east, mm -hmm. the, uh, and then the hatch, hatch in the still middle sitting of the room. beneath the now slightly more rotten beholder corpse. I want to kick the beholder corpse for no reason. Okay, you kick it. Great, perfect. It, it makes a squelching sound. Do you know I have dead beholder on your boot? I have. I'm okay well, with first, it. First, Mr. Knox gonna light the sword back up, and then I'm gonna look for tracks because we're looking for guards. That's true. And I'd like to know which way they went, if I can discern any tracks. And why they didn't have to fight this beholder. I hope they didn't rest in the dungeon. <laughs> right. Uh, you don't with... see foot guard footprints, but you see drag marks oh, God. that lead across the drawbridge. Alright, to the drawbridge. Um... <laughs> I would like to kick the beholder off the hatch. Okay. And then I would like to look inside the hatch. Oh shit, that's a nice hatch. I know, right? 
I didn't get to see uh, it with uh, Captain Chubbykins on. You open up the hat. <laughs> Is that his new name? You open up a hat up the hatch, and it's just darkness. It's straight drop down, and it goes farther than you can see in the dark. I pick up a loose piece of tile, and then mm -hmm. I cast light on it. Then I drop right. drop the piece of tile down the hole. All right. How far does light? Uh, light is going to be a sixty foot and sixty foot bright light, if I recall correctly. Uh, twenty foot. Sorry, twenty foot bright light, and then twenty foot dim light. Unless something opaque blocks the light. Okay. Hold on. <coughs> uh, Don't die. I didn't. Reason did. <laughs> That's true. Oh. Tell me if you can see that. I can. I can. Okay. Um. I can. Let's not go down there. Well, how far was that drop? Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Floor. we're on the wrong map. I don't know where I am. Panic. Okay, there we are. How far was the drop? Could I tell? Uh, it took a while. At least. Right. Two. Three. Four stories. Is there All a right. ladder? No. All right, I close the hatch. I don't. The <laughs> hatch is dead to me. Uh, I close the hatch, and Push then the I'm just it. gonna put a note in my head that says no. Does it have a latch? Yeah. This guy right here. Yeah, I, I, the latch on. I put the holder on. I take these corpses. I put that on there. Those corpses. All the so corpses. You just, just put all the corpses on top of it. Yeah. That'll yeah, come let's... back to bite me in the are these bite me in the ass later. And the bear corpse too. Why and not? And the bear corpse. Yep. Alright, now you calculate uh how much that all weighs. <laughs> Let me know. Boy howdy, that's a lot of dead bodies. Yeah. <laughs> yep, well, your body was almost on there. That's true. But you're alive, so no need to worry about that. I missed it enough, and I'm gonna stand on the ceiling. That's what he does. <laughs> that is what he does. He does that. How sturdy does this look? Uh, it looks like it was once very sturdy. Good. Well, they dragged fully armed guards across it, that so I will be fine getting Presumably. across. The gnome will be fine getting across. The knock just walked across the ceiling, so I'm sure that ceiling bridge is great. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bridge on the ceiling, otherwise it's just vacant all the way up top. Right, it's vacant <laughs> in both directions for some reason. All right, well, we could just go one at a time. Uh, oh, all right. I would just. I, I'll, uh, I guess we're doing. You all go first. I told the doc to put the light out. That is a smart thing to do. Okay. So. If you, he puts the light out, how is Kia supposed to see? He'll see in a second. We, we, we point him at the bridge and we say, do not deviate. All right, Kiev <laughs> would not be able to see at this point. Right. I teleport across the bridge. I get the spider shoes from Mr. Dadok. I give them to everybody else in the party one by one so they can rock mm -hmm. across the ceiling. All right. Kiev, and then I teleport across and tell Mr. Dadok to turn the light back. Shoes. All right. Okay. That way, Ace does not have to use any of his spells. How far does Musty Step go? Probably not. 60 feet, I think. It would oh. have been close. 
Boy, howdy, where are we going? That is a good question. Wherever the wind takes us. Where's the wind? Uh, uh to be perfectly like honest, I don't door. think there's a wind down here. Well, there's like a, a there's a way south and there's a way north. Uh, there's my stealth um, check. Right. That's a 17 because I have the elven shoes of elven kind. Oh yeah, that's right. Danak doesn't need two pairs of shoes. <laughs> well, he's got the cloak. He doesn't need the shoe. That's true. Okay. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> What are... I need to get a ring or something that creates dim light. Alright, there are people over there. I, I just, saw them with my eyes. I could just cast light on a on a regular ring, uh, and then you could have, like, I don't know, a glove that you put over it. When you don't... You could just hold it upside down, and then close this... Hey, like I do with my dark pistol. Uh, to get like a permanent light on something that would be a little more tricky, but you could just refresh it every hour. Then you roll those 17. Okay, they don't seem to notice you. Uh, in fact, as you peer over, it looks like they're watching lights, and they are expecting someone to come from around that corner. Wait, there's things? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's things. Alright, well. How high are the ceilings? Uh, pretty high, actually. This area appears much more ornate than the previous area. Fucking kid. Another beholder. <laughs> They're dead. We're leaving. <coughs> My sister wants to be in here so bad she can fucking come in here and get whatever she... This is a door to myself? Uh... It's not supposed to be, but I guess there is a door there. Oh, there is a door there. I just put it on the wrong fucking layer. Yes, there is a door to your south. Okay. Uh, does this look like where they were dragged? Uh, in that direction, yes. Alright, I guess this is the way we're going. Alright. Heading south, boys. I'd like to peer I, through the keyhole. I am completely dependent on Denoct for light right now, so. You see. Just put your hand on the shoulder of the closest dark vision person, which is literally anyone but you, and um, walk with them. See a wall and another door. Kidok, I open the door stealthily. All right, give me a stealth check. Here you go. I have advantage on it, so it's 13. All right. You think you open it quietly. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, it knocks on the ceiling. You can just run over. What am I looking at? Looks like a library. Boy, howdy! Look at all them books! There is a door to your south and a wall. And what looks like a staircase. Oh, sorry. Staircase goes down? I'm uh, there is a staircase to your uh, left. It does go down. The uh, drag marks go down? Or right. Uh, drag marks go up. Well, drag marks go through the door here. Okay. That was the real question. All right. So, books. examining these books, what do we got? All right. So, there you have you have you see rows of warped and dusty shelves that covered in books. Each book itself is covered in dust all written solely in the elven language. Although upon further inspection, they appear to be in mint condition, except for the dust itself. 
Pretty sure I know that language. Yep. I cannot read these. So I know Elvin. You look through some of the books. Some of the ones that jump out at you are Unquisiza, uh, which was the metal that Wolf had mentioned before. Taking it. Un. Quesiaiza and the nature of dwarves. How dwarven society has stolen the elven metal. Taking it. Livaria Horing. Forging with Quesiaia, applying elven perfection to the forging process. That one too. By Sarnikos Erekul. Er, yeah, Erekul. Erekul. Human Gods and the Nature of Evil. A collection of essays on the importance of genocide. Compiled by Zeneros Fulmar. Also, The Elven People and the Nature of Goodness, a collection of essays on the importance of elven culture. Also compiled by Zeneros Fulmar. Yeah, I know so And much finally, Advanced Runecrafting by Little Teacher. Taking it! Taking it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want that one. Okay. Oh, and I guess I'll take the other two elven books about genocide and weird ass right. shit because <clears throat> that's cool, but that should I'll be right back. Okay. Also, if you have that list of books, like in a written way, could you just copy paste me them? I need you to explain to me how there's a book by Little Teacher in this old decrepit cavern when she didn't appear in this world till we appeared in this world. No, Zoom. she appeared in the beginning of time for this world. Did she? Uh-huh. Yes. Is that what she said? How come we didn't do that? Because that's not the wish that we made. Technically, the wish should have she undone... She was not affected by the wish. Right. Technically... Oh. She had to see what the wish did to the world. Right. And then survive it. Right. So she was placed basically where she was in the world at the point where the chest was unmade in time. And then see the world evolve over time to the same point where we made the wish. So she went back in time? Technically, yeah. Cool. I didn't get that from the last meeting. I apparently Ace did. I did. So she's way older. But we only count by you, mother. Right, exa exactly. I'm pretty sure you made that exact same joke the last time as well. We're gonna date. We're both gonna have sex with my... Alright. What's up? You That's do that. Wife. You have sex with your 10,000 year old Animu Loli. And myself. And yourself. Okay, so what are you guys doing? So I'm grabbing all Lighting the my three way. <laughs> I'm grabbing all the books you listed out. Mm -hmm. Um and the two that are about elven people I'm gonna hold on for um daddy. Big boss elven guy. Cause he seems to be into that stuff. Okay. Um the other books I'm obviously keeping for reasons. Putting that in miscellaneous no secret doors notes. or anything. There does not appear to be any secret doors in the area. Uh, you look through the other kinds of books. They mostly appear to be spell books. Which is well, no, you don't you can't read Elven, so you have no idea if there's more books. So it's fair to say that I examine all of the books. Is there um when you say spell They're books? They're all spell books? They're all spell books. Besides the books I mentioned, the rest are spell books. They yeah. all contain various spell formulas. Hmm. Apparently, a wizard's library. Do any of them have uh, like some spare scrolls, perhaps? No. All right. Well, there appear to be no scrolls here to use. Just patentedly useless I to guess me. Spell books are useless to me as well. Mm-hmm. Unless you're a wizard, they are worthless. Right. Speaking Timber. of which, hey, wizard guy. I guess Kimball oh, is not right. a wizard Kimball either. Timber's here. Kimball Timber's here. Holy howdy! Let me just learn every spell in the game! Alright. I'm alright with that, but, you know, you're still a wizard. What game? Boy, what game, Let me just 
Is this a game to you? <laughs> this is our line! <laughs> Boy, how would it let me just take all the media books? How are you gonna carry uh, them? He does taking books and putting them into his satchel. How are you gonna carry that many books? Oof, oof. He's just throwing them all in. Oof, oof, oof. Oh god, does he have a bag of holding? Oof. I think he does. I could have it not is. saved him. The bag does not fill up further, or you don't. You can't see it filling up. Doesn't seem to gain weight as each book is just piled in. Is it bad that I'm kind of like could have let him die and taken eh? that bag of holding? Eh? You think? Hey, 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 here, yeah, please. Can we put him in the bag? <laughs> Uh oh no, I thought you were getting gaining flank and we were gonna kill him. <laughs> I mean what else does he have that's nice on him? You don't know. I guess we'll find out later after we kill him. <laughs> Are we gonna Welfare. be those adventures now? Welfare. Welfare. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no. No. I did I we disapprove. Have no reason to kill him. I also have no reason to kill him. I mean, if I really wanted to go evil, right? Exactly. Of barely, if barely we... still neutral I, that I am. I I'm glad that decoy is not here for the session because I fully believe he would kill him for the bag of holding. Right. I believe he would. He would That's have. That's fucking... one of the pieces we need to end the universe again. Bag of holding and what? <laughs> what else did we need? A portable, portable hole, hole, which we yeah, already we had go. with the uh, robe of useful items. Uh, okay, so you guys heading through the store? Yeah. Also, the world will not be remade after after ending the world that way. You see a staircase on the other side. Alright, I guess we're going up. Alright. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. That sure was a lot of books. How are you carrying all those books? I got me a magic bag. That's incredible. Did you make it? You know it. Can you make me a magic I'm a bag? Class tinkerer. Can you make me a magic bag? When I got the time. Oh, well, that means he's going to die. So at least deedly, deedly, deedly. Deedly. Well, I mean, all we have to do is, you know, long rest a whole bunch here. And... All right, well, one way or the other, right. if he dies in battle or, there, yeah. or he survives, then we'll get a bag of holding. So I'm okay with that. All right, I guess so I, I walk assume you guys are heading down the stairs? Oh, I'd like to. Yeah. Sure. I, I have no idea what I'm looking at, but okay. Can't move my token it's through that, but that's fine. I mean, the knock's not down here. I don't think. Can't go left immediately through that wall. It's a nice touch. Stop moving! Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just impressed with the fucking um, wall physics. I guess it's just collision detection, but you know what I mean. Other use on. All right. <coughs> I'll wait for the other people to see what I see. Do you see what I see? Technically, Actually, we would be reversed. Front, so right. we, this would be reversed. Yeah. There we go. And we went upstairs? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that a table with eggs on it? It's a table with eggs on it. 
Yeah. Uh, it appears to be some kind of mushroom. Or various mushroom. Oh, well, not again, I guess. Well! Good thing I'm here, because I'm a fun guy. You see what looks to be a bunch of eggs on a table, and without thinking about it, you just walk right up to it. And then realize... Uh, I did oh, not walk shit. there, thank you very much. I moved one square up. Natural one. I have the power of the narrative. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a one and a two, man. No, wait, he has a... Well, That was the stealth check, not a perception check. I'd like me to roll a perception check to claim I did not see that guy. That I will do. Actually, you rolled a two. Yeah. So you are uh, back here. Yeah, but... I, didn't, I didn't roll perception. I, I didn't say you rolled perception. If you roll a natural one on perception... They wouldn't. They probably wouldn't have seen you, but you would have seen some weird ass shit. Natural one on stealth means everyone around you is alerted to your party. Right. But you didn't roll the natural one advantage, so you rolled a two. Right. So they still take notice of you. Obviously. But you're not out of position. Just taking care of that. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Oh, sorry. Um, it's okay. Paint me a word picture. What um, what am I looking at as far as these enemies? They look kind of like dwarves. So you see tiny impish men with common handheld sickles that are about as big as they are. Uh, hmm. Next to them is these are these mushrooms that appear to be spattered with blood. Good. Good. And I believe that's all you can see from there? All right. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. <sighs> Red. Red. Oh, yeah. Ooh. This guy's off alignment and it's driving me nuts. I wonder where that is. Thank you. Could you see that? Can you see that guy? Yeah, I have DM vision. We've established this. Oh, that's right. But for the Pointless. sake of the yeah, for the sake of the, I didn't I said this guy I didn't say what it was, um, no but for the sake of the narrative guy, I probably can't yeah. see more than out to here, so I might be able to see him. But I'm also like looking through over the banister of the staircase, so arguable. You didn't roll initiative for Mr. Denar, so before you go, you might want to do that. All right. None of us. Which means you probably didn't roll it for Gimble Me Timbers either. <laughs> that is also true. Gimble Me Timbers. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. Sorry, uh... Howdy-ha! Howdy-ha! Mr. Thank you, Christmas Christmas Boo. He loves me and I love you. Man, I think that was like the second or third episode of South Park I ever saw. Really? Yeah. It was early. Right. It was probably season two or three. Yeah. Hey, look, I got all the cameras back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. I don't know why my refreshing did that for everyone, but you're welcome. Mm, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Wolf, for biting that bullet for us. All right, do we want to keep going? It's 9.45. I doubt we're going to get through this combat. Odds are good we are not going to get through this combat. 
you want to start in the middle of combat? I don't know if you've ever done that or how easy it is to pick up from the middle. Of yeah, that's true too. So okay, sorry. The bolt uh, of divine lightning comes down, smites them all, and we kill them and get the experience. Moving on. <laughs> that is not how that's gonna work. If only. Cool. Um. So, the question was: Do we want to start this combat, even though it's probably gonna bleed over time? So we might have to stop in the middle of combat, or do we want to just um, pick this up at the start of combat next session? I'm okay with either or, but my I'm pretty ambivalent to the current scenario. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good either way. I don't care. Actually. I slept until 6.45, I'm not tired. Actually, I... No, I could I could do it. I just have to be very careful with my um, spell casting, if we're doing it that way. I'm sorry, whether we, we are stopping for the night ha means you have to be careful no, with your no, spell no, casting? No, 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 no. If we decide to keep going, I personally will just have to keep better track of my spells, because I usually... Uh, if we're in a combat and I know we're gonna finish it by the session, I usually don't keep track of it, like as in like ticking things off. I usually remember what I've cast in the last since the long oh. last long rest. Alright, I'm I'm actually okay stopping it. Alright. Okay. Then. I'd rather just pick it back up next week. Alright, sounds good. Is that okay, Mio? Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. Cool. Then we'll do that. Yep. For some reason, the combat music only plays through once. That's weird. And I'm wondering if... There's a... Like, the website does that on purpose or something. Like, if you only play a song a certain number of times before it refuses to let you... Maybe. Oh. Play it again. I forgot to delete the part where I said, and then we all die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so. You guys fought a bunch of ghosts. We did, factually. How much did I make you guys fight? Seven I may have miscounted. There were seven. Trust me, I remember. Seven. There were supposed to be seven. I'm not sure if he deleted one or not. Halfway through combat. There, there were definitely seven. <laughs> there were seven. So... CR is on point if you guys have already got most of your shit kicked in. I will remember that. And you're asleep when they first attack. Mm-hmm. Remember that for now. Oh, was that supposed to be deadly? That was supposed to be hard. That was supposed to be hard? Wow. Yes. Given how I normally do it, I rank up the... Uh, Difficulty. So, purely by your level, that would have been deadly. Because you guys are six characters here. Actually, no, that would have only been hard. Then again, Gimbal Timbers is not your level. He is not. Not. Gimbal Timbers is level nine. No. He should be our level after this. <laughs> right, so that would have been a deadly encounter. It actually was. <laughs> Anyways, uh All right. So, good session. I'm going to do the outro thing. Um Okay, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, this has been another episode of Throne Shatter with 
Um, the, I don't even know what our party is group is called, but the Throne Shatter Gang. Um, tune in next week, 7 p.m. Eastern, for another thrilling adventure of heroism and deadly, deadly combat, maybe. Um, so until then, thank you all for watching, and have a good night.